of the two-part series, which is my favorite makeup and skincare products for the year 2015. The first part was all of the favorite makeup items that I used for this year, and this part is going to be all of the skincare items that I used for 2015. So this is the final video for the 12 Holidays of Beauty. Like I mentioned in the first video, the 12 Holidays of Beauty kind of turned into like the 17 or 18 Days of Beauty, but it just kind of sounds better to call it the 12 Holidays of Beauty, but I hope you guys enjoyed this series again. And yeah, so just to preface this again, these are just items that I have used for the year 2015 that I love. I don't have an item for every single product category in skincare. These are just legitimately products that stood out to me this year and that I've used a lot and that I just thoroughly enjoy and love. So I'm going to try and be as brief with my reviews slash thoughts on them so if this video isn't super long, but let's just jump in and get started. So I want to start off with my favorite sheet masks for the year of 2015. They have by far been leader sheet masks. I've shown these ones particularly a ton, which are the Seven Wonders masks, but I just love leader's masks in general. They have awesome, awesome quality. They fit well on my face. They feel really nice. They work really well, and they're affordable. So I just like that they're effective, cheap, good quality. And they're also very accessible to me since they started selling them in Ulta, but you can also just buy them from their website or buy them wherever you're able to find them. But Leaders has all kinds of masks, different kinds for different skin types. So they're just a mask that I'm comfortable recommending and confident that everyone will enjoy. There's a few brands that have really stood out to me in 2015 and one in particular is Neogen. So I'm just gonna talk about three different products that I have been thoroughly enjoying from them. The first one is this Neogen Dermology Real Fresh Foam Cranberry Foam Cleanser. This is a very unique cleanser because it has actual cranberries here at the bottom which means that there are real fruit extracts in this foam cleanser and there's also fermented ingredients so you know what you're putting on your skin is good for your skin and not going to harm it since it's natural so I love this I love the formulation of this the bubbles are really soft that come out of this and it creates a very nice lather that makes my skin feel like it's being thoroughly cleansed and I also know that they have different versions of this for different skin types so you can find one specifically for your skin needs next is this baby and this is also unique so I do give Neogen definitely thumbs up for their innovation for the year of 2015. This is the Gauze Peeling Wine Pads. Now I demoed this along with all of the Neogen products that I'm going to be talking about in my current skincare routine and this is an excellent exfoliant for those of you guys who might have sensitive skin or skin that is prone to getting irritated or you have skin that breaks out really easily or even dry skin, like my skin is kind of dry and sensitive, so this was nice because I get an exfoliant that is not only a chemical exfoliant, but a manual exfoliant. The pad itself is somewhat abrasive. It's not overly abrasive where you feel like you're damaging the surface of your skin, but it's just enough to get a good exfoliation going. Moving on to my last Neogen product. Now, I think this is my favorite product out of all three of them, and it is actually a sunscreen. Now, this is the Daylight Protection Sunscreen with an SPF of 50 and this is so good you guys and it's also formulated for sensitive skin types so if you have skin that is prone to breaking out or just doesn't usually get along with high SPF type of products I would definitely recommend trying this out also the scent of it is really really nice and also this is nice because it's lightweight so it doesn't feel heavy on my skin and it just layers really well with the rest of my morning skincare routine and it doesn't leave a white cast on your skin that high SPF products tend to do so I love this sunscreen and I would definitely this is like a, my number one sunscreen recommendation if you're looking for a sunscreen. Now there are a few serum type of products that I have been enjoying for the year of 2015. First off, this is the Repeat Nutrient Nature Ultra Moist Gel Oil. This is really unique because it's technically a serum product, but it's in a gel format, so it feels really nice and light on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy and it absorbs really quickly. This is also eco-friendly packaging, and I know that this company is very green and tends to be more natural ingredients. So if you're looking for vegan skincare, this is definitely a skincare line that I think is awesome and they just make really good products in general. So the other two serums that I've been enjoying, this is the Dear Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop 
serum. It is a vitamin C serum. And vitamin C is good for helping with acne scarring or resurfacing the skin. Vitamin C is a really good option to look into to help with your skin, just your texture of your skin and the surface of your skin in general. So I really like this one from Claire's. It's fairly fast absorbing. It's a lightweight type of serum and it's just a really nice brightening serum in general and I felt like I could definitely notice a difference with my skin and the evenness of my skin since I started using this serum. Last but not least is this Aromatica Rose Absolute First Serum. I really, really enjoy this serum because not only does it have a wonderful rose scent, but it's also extremely lightweight. It's probably the lightest of weight out of all of the serums that I'm showing you and I always like to incorporate an anti-wrinkle preventative type of product in my skincare regimen so this is it because this is for anti-wrinkle so I enjoy this I love how it feels on my skin and it's awesome at layering it doesn't feel like it's a super heavy type of serum. This is also a serum that is formulated with more natural ingredients. Now this is another brand that has really stood out to me for the year 2015 that I just started getting into and it is COSRX. Now I don't think I talk about them as much as I should be talking about them because I recommend this to a lot of people in my comments. But these two products, this is the AHA slash BHA clarifying treatment toner which I will just swipe over my skin and this is awesome for a very mild not only exfoliant but it helps purify the skin and it just helps if you're having issues with blackheads or whiteheads or excess sebum or anything like that so it's just awesome for cleansing the pores and just getting all the gunk out of your skin without over irritating your skin or drying out your skin too much and I also really like these chemical exfoliants. They have a bunch of different chemical exfoliants. This one in particular is the BHA exfoliant and this is the Blackhead Power Liquid. Um, I actually got this for my boyfriend to try but I ended up starting to use it and I really like how this again helped purify my skin with a chemical exfoliant that was gentle on my skin and it also is very hydrating so I like that it didn't overly dry out my skin since I do have a dry skin type so if you're looking into any type of product for pretty much excess oil, purifying your pores, helping with blackheads, whiteheads, acne, that type of thing, I would definitely recommend looking into CosRx because they have a ton, a ton, a ton of different formulations for different skin types, different types of chemical exfoliants, different ingredients that are good for your skin. Most CosRx products that I have looked into or tried all have great ingredients, so you can be confident with this line that you will not be putting something on your skin that you probably shouldn't be. Now so. this is one of my favorite peeling gels. This is from Tony Moly. This is the Floria Brightening Peeling Gel. I love this because I feel like after I use this, I actually see a significant difference in my skin immediately. It just helps my skin look nice and glowy and beautiful. It helps if I feel like my skin is looking particularly dull. So this is a nice pick me up for my skin. I like this and so if you're looking for any type of brightening or skin evening type of products definitely look into this one and yes I am doing a beauty battle breakdown on pretty much every single type of skincare I want to in 2016 so like peeling gel, sunscreens, all that kind of stuff will be coming in 2016 so I'll be talking more about this probably in the future along with other peeling gels. Now this is a long-standing favorite of mine and this is the Nature Public Soothing and Moisture Aloe Vera Soothing Gel. I could just go on forever about how much I love this aloe vera gel because not only is it nice and light and helps moisturize my skin and doesn't feel sticky or tacky, it is also good on your hair, on your nails, on your face, on your skin. I just find so many uses for this. It's always nice to have a tub of this whether I've gotten a sunburn, whether I need a light moisturizer, whether my skin is irritated on my face, whether I just feel like my dead ends on my hair need to be smoothed down. This is just excellent for everything and it is so cheap I think this is around like five or six bucks so you really can't go wrong with this so I love this product now this is one of my favorite lightweight moisturizers I think I've mentioned this very briefly in previous videos of mine but this is the Myzon multifunction formula snail recovery gel cream this is an awesome awesome moisturizer if you're looking for one and you have oily or acne prone skin or sensitive skin this is just so lightweight and it really does a good job of making my skin feel nice and plump and moisturized and 
the moisturization lasts throughout the day or throughout the night however I choose to use this I personally like to use this in the morning because I don't like a lot of heavy products on my skin because if I'm gonna be out and about I don't want to feel like I have a mask on my face when I'm sleeping it doesn't really matter but so this is a really good product to incorporate in my morning skincare routine I use it every morning you can actually see I've used a good amount of it considering how much skincare I have that's a good sign so I love this and I think this is also super affordable it's definitely less than ten dollars so I would definitely look into this if you're looking for a gel type of moisturizer. Now this is actually a product that I just recently bought and the reason it's not opened is because I have a couple toners I need to work through before I open this but this is my second bottle of this actually. This is the Mimond Rose Water Toner and I just love this because it's very gentle on my skin. It feels very nice and refreshing when I swipe it over my face. And it does a really good job of purifying my pores and just making my skin feel at its best. And since it has a high concentration of rose water in this, again, the ingredients are more natural. So I don't feel like I'm swiping a bunch of chemicals on my face or anything on my face that I shouldn't be putting on my face. So this is awesome. A great toner for pretty much every skin type and it smells like roses so it's awesome now this I think you guys are fully aware of how this is pretty much one of my holy grail skincare products and it is the vanilla co clean at zero I demoed this on my channel in the past and this just demolishes makeup it makes removing my makeup so much easier and I just love this this also comes in different formulations so you can get one for sensitive skin one for aging skin there's also one for brightening your skin tone so this is so so good and if you wear makeup on a daily basis and heavy eye makeup like I do on a daily basis this is a must-have because it just makes cleansing your skin so much easier and uh, holy grail right here now I was hesitant about talking about this product because this is a product that I've gotten very recently but I wanted to talk about it because I just liked it that much. I did a first impressions on this and this is the J1 Jelly Pack. This is Hachi One's new skincare product and this is just so unique. Honestly, I was thinking that this was just a skincare product that an actress slapped her name on and they were just trying to sell a ton of, but this is a very, very unique product and excellent for those of you guys who might be suffering from dry skin or aging skin. So what this is, is it's a nice plumping type of moisturizer and you can also use this in the morning before you apply your makeup or at night as a sleeping pack. I personally really like using this in the morning. If I can't be bothered with applying several different steps, I could just use this and it makes my skin feel super nice and plump and moisturized and tightened. So this is just so good, you guys. Last but not least, I have an eye cream and this is from Enprani. This is the Deep Wrinkle Solution and I believe I bought this in Holika Holika last year. Now I really like this because not only does this have a small amount of retinol in it, which we all know is good for wrinkles, but I really feel like I've seen a difference underneath my eyes with this. I have very, very fine lines underneath my eyes. It's honestly just the way my eyes are kind of shaped, so I naturally just form creases here when I smile or when I make facial expressions. So I have been using this on my fine lines underneath my eyes and I feel like this has made a pretty big difference in the appearance of them. It just really plumps up the eye area and this is a thicker type of formula so I feel like my eye area really drinks up the moisturization properties in this product so I like this and this has been a product that I have thoroughly enjoyed for 2015. I've been switching this on and off with another eye cream but I have to Say, I definitely prefer this one and think this is a definite win. All right, guys, so that is it for my favorite skincare products of the year of 2015. If there are any other products that you notice me using throughout the year that I might not have mentioned in this video, it might be because I did do these type of videos last year for 2014. My favorite makeup and skincare items for the year 2014 last year so I didn't want there to be too much overlap and talk about the same products because I do have products that carry over from year to year that I thoroughly enjoy but I just didn't want to harp on them too much so yeah anyways I hope you guys enjoy the 12 holidays of beauty I'm winded from all the talking I've done today but I hope you are all happy and healthy and don't forget to rate comment subscribe Share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in 2016. Bye, guys!